Okay. All right, so grab your worksheets if you need to. And we're on the nitty gritty of Facebook ads part two. So I wanna first go back and talk a little bit about what you need for your Facebook page. So remember your Facebook page needs to be active. There needs to be good content, quality content, humorous content, anything that is infotainment. So native, which means basically it's authentic. So you, you don't wanna sound like a commercial all the time. Uh, so it needs to be native, funny, and interesting. Give people a reason to laugh because stress levels are really high in today's society. And so anytime you can make people laugh, that will build rapport. Also, as we discussed last month, you want to include your face and your staff's faces as much as possible. In fact, let me just show you right here. Uh, I started managing the uh, Facebook page for American Heritage Bank. And so what I did is, uh, and I didn't have this idea, but I ran with it. One of the guys that works there wanted to do a Tuesday teller uh, once a month. And we decided to highlight uh, Bailey, and she's at the Melrose branch. So I made this quick graphic, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to make graphics uh, probably next month. But it's, you know, we think you're the best, et cetera. And then I had her um, give me a little bit of information about herself. And one of them is since the age of two, she's been involved with rodeos. So I had her send me this picture and then another picture and a little bit of tidbit of information. So you'll notice right here, like I talked about last month, I've got three emojis and it's basically, we'd like to welcome Bailey to our family. She's our newest teller at the Melrose branch. She just graduated in May with a bachelor's degree in business administration, a minor in management from Northwestern Oklahoma State. She's participated in rodeo since she was two and she's won two state championships and a national championship in barrel racing. Thanks Bailey for all you do. Okay, so this goes with the brand of that bank, which is hometown community feel, but everybody loves to know a little bit about you that maybe other people don't know. So when people go into this, guess what? They're gonna say, hey, I saw you on Facebook. You know, I didn't know you did barrel racing, but look at this, this is crazy. I just posted it Tuesday. I'm just now reviving their Facebook page because like a lot of businesses, they made it where it kind of went dormant because again, Facebook serves you what you wanna see. So if you're not posting anything relevant where people are engaging, they're not gonna show your fans your posts. So we've got 741 people reached and 457 engagements. That's the most I've gotten on any of my clients' pages that I've done so far. Again, it's the face of your, yourself, your staff, any little bit of information that makes us want to get to know you more and like you. Also use pictures and videos again, uh, and I can show you this in a, a bit, but I did a couple tip videos for insurance, which insurance taxes, banking is boring, but we've designed the video in a way where it's uh, definitely engaging. And again, videos are consistently the top engagement and reach of any of the content I do on Facebook. After that are pictures of your face, and then any content you might share that you're curating, not creating. So use pictures and videos as much as possible. Conduct Facebook Lives, which you're gonna learn to do that today. Batch your content creation like we discussed last month and then schedule your posts, which we also discussed. So this is just a review. All of this is on the first video. The other thing I want you to keep in mind from last month is to be a curator and a creator of content. That means you find posts and videos and funny things from other sources that you can put on your website, but also create your own content, which I'm gonna teach you all that. And then when you're curating, uh, I did talk about how to curate in a way where you don't have that tiny little picture uh, when you share a YouTube video or something, you want photos that will grab people's attention. So I talked about that last month as well. And then also, and I hope you guys did this homework, what did you decide your brand personality is? Did anybody come to that conclusion? 
Does anybody need help coming to that conclusion? Okay, so we may work on that. Um, I need a pen. Can someone pass me a pen? Oh, thank you. Okay, so brand personality we might play around with if we have time. Okay. All right, now let's get into content creation. And I hope you guys again captured pictures and hopefully some video from last month because we will use those soon. If not, you probably have some time before the next training before we really get into uh, using Canva and creating videos. Okay, you must view your business as a media company first and what you do second. Uh, in today's society, everybody it goes to Facebook, they go to your website. It's very important that you're capturing what you do as you go about your day. Now, this shocked me. I did some research in preparing for today and found out that Facebook has surpassed YouTube on video views. Yeah, shocked me. And because, you know, YouTube is all about the video, but Facebook is definitely surpassing. 47% get their video content from Facebook and 41% from YouTube in the world. But this is what you need to know. On top of that, 71% of Facebook users who watch marketing videos say that the ads they watch are relevant. Okay, now, if you have where you can fast forward through commercials on TV, you know we're at that point. However, with Facebook, 71% say that what Facebook serves them as far as ads is relevant to the things they're looking for. That means two things. Number one, <coughs> Facebook knows what it's doing. Number two, you need to take advantage of that. So that's where that pixel comes in. Again, that's on last month's uh, video. So you definitely need to get that on your website ASAP so that Facebook can build a list. But it tells you that for the return on investment, the ROI, the pennies to the dollar of using Facebook for ads just makes sense. And it does not make sense to not take advantage of this before the pricing becomes outside of your range if you're a small business. Okay, because Google Business has done that. It's too expensive for a lot of us small business owners. And then finally, this is incredible, 60 to 70% who watch your Facebook video then go to your website. This means two things. Number one, your website better be easy to use, uh, beautifully designed and relevant. It needs to have your face, your staff's faces, behind the scenes videos, tip videos on those as well. But also uh, it tells us that um, your website is more important than it's ever been. So if you don't have a website, I would highly suggest that you get one developed. Wix is a great option, Squarespace if you're a creative, but you need to have the home, the about, some type of education, and then um, any of your services and just keep it real simple if you need to. Okay, so there's two ways that I do video on Facebook. Now, one of them is live streaming and the other are pre-made videos. I'm gonna teach you how to do pre-made videos. So let me show you an example of one of them that I've been doing. Uh, and I batch worked it where I literally sat down with Mr. Beckner at General Insurance Agency and we recorded, I believe it was like 16 videos. And then I just, um, and by the way, don't delete your bloopers. I'm gonna take all of our bloopers and turn them into a blooper reel because, okay, so I might be old school, I don't know if they still do this, but remember you'd go to watch the movie at the theater and then you would wait through the credits just to see if they had a blooper reel? Okay, that people love that. So if you can get your bloopers and make them into a video, that's even better and we'll do that. But let me scroll down to the very first video we did. Okay, so just for you tip, and this is about uninsured and underinsured motorists, but 474 people reached 95 engagements. The way I do his is, see this progress bar right here? 
I'm going to teach y'all how to do that because that progress bar is addictive. Closed captioning right here. So we probably got more views than it's showing us, but it shows you the views by those who click and watch. Okay, so uh, title up here, closed captioning, progress bar, you're going to learn that. But anytime you can do 30 to 60 seconds of a tip or something that's relevant, it's a really good idea. This is the example of pre-made videos that I will teach you guys how to do. Okay, so live stream. Live stream is where you're literally live on Facebook, taking people with you or doing training. So once a week... Uh, it's been a little crazy this last month, but once a week I do some business training on my Facebook page and my private group for my students. And I literally sit down at my desk, I get started, I can share my screen and slideshow with, with them and all of that. And if we have time, I'll teach you how to do that. But live stream, we're going to practice today. So um, I don't want to freak you out, but I want you to go live on your Facebook page if you've got one. And I'll tell you what we're going to be doing. Okay, so... On the pre-made, the teleprompter app, Big View, is a lifesaver because a lot of times we don't know what the heck we want to say or we have an idea, but it's like, you know, we get lost or we will tend to ramble. And so I use this app on my phone for every Facebook or for every Fast 45 Lunch and Learn promo video, for any of my pre-made videos, unless I'm driving, then obviously I don't read my teleprompter app in that case. But it's a great way to experiment with your speed, to practice, to gesture, uh, use natural light if at all possible, but they have those lights you can put on your phone. Uh, record it in landscape, guys, because unless you purchase it, the logo will be down on the right bottom corner and you want to be able to get that off. So I always do them all in landscape and then I edit. I'm going to show you guys how to do all of that. But what I would recommend between now and the next month, you'll need two to four videos of relevant information or tips that I want you to have ready so that we can create those videos in class. There's two things that you can look at to purchase, uh, to do the progress bar, etc. One is called Rapper, W-R-A-P-R dot com. It's $50 a year or a lifetime, I can't remember. You can have that purchased by next month my personal favorite, and I'm going to show you both, is Camtasia. C-A-M-T-A-S-I-A. -A. That's an actual program that you purchase and download to your computer. That one is $99. It's my favorite. So whichever one fits in your budget, I would definitely have that ready. I can tell you with Rapper.com, I don't have as many options as I do with Camtasia. Now, you can use iMovie, but it's not as easy to do your closed captioning, and I like Camtasia a lot because of that. But if you use the teleprompter, you can take that script and upload it into Wrapper, and it will do the uh, closed captioning for you. So practice with your videos. Uh, I've been working with Alyssa at uh, Curry County Abstract, and when she first started doing her videos, she was stiff. She looked uncomfortable, uh, and I'm like, okay. And then she was crooked, and then forgive me, ladies, for being so bold, but she had a, you know, outfit on that made um, her chest area look like lights. No joke. The way this, I mean, it just kind of reflected there and was very distracting. So you want to be conscious of your clothing. You want to be conscious of how far you are positioned in the camera, away from the camera. All of that stuff you can do between now and next month so that you have two viable video, videos for us to practice with. Also, don't have any light behind you. You want it in front of you. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to kill two birds with one stone. I want you to get with your partner if you had one from last week if they're here. If not, grab a new one. I want you to work in twos if possible. And I want you to first of all decide on two to four topics that you're going to have done by next month. In your worksheets, you'll see 
and which and by the way I also added the steps for Facebook pixel on the um, worksheets that are on the website that you download it will how have how to set that up but your Facebook post ideas uh, let's see it looks like it's page four you can pick some of your topics from there okay um, questions that maybe people have asked you a lot uh, any um, uh, Mm, let's see introducing the staff unusual facts tips company accomplishments uh, any how-to videos uh, any p uh, product reviews if you've had a customer that has given you a review lately talk about the review and what you did to actually earn that review why that was uh, something that occurred um, news and announcements things like that but you want to give something away for free that has value and then I also want you to think of something to say in a very short Facebook Live. Okay, so me, as an introvert, number one, I don't like my face anywhere, but it has to go a lot of places, okay? So I know how uncomfortable it is, especially live. So what I do is I always have on a piece of paper or in the notes in my phone, if I'm using my computer, like two to three points I want to at least get across. So you could literally say, I'm up at the chamber, this mean lady is making me do a Facebook Live right now, and I really don't wanna be doing this, but it's I'm having to practice. So there you go. Now, we uh, a while back, a guy, um, he owns a CrossFit gym, I can't remember his name. Somebody might remember his name. Missy, do you? Greg? Uh, he had us do, um, I think it was an Instagram or Facebook Live, and I was so mad at him. And I literally went into the hallway and was like, this is stupid, but I'm doing it anyway because I was told I have to. And he's pretty muscular, and I don't want to get beat up. And so, um, and I had more engagement and views than any other time, uh, you know, with my Instagram uh, and my Facebook. So, all right, uh, now let me show you how to do that before we break up into groups. Okay, so what you do is if you have a business page, that's where you go. If you don't, you can do it right here on your personal. I'm going to go over to my business page. And then you click on where you would do write a post and click these little dots. Now, if it's on your phone, it might be more. Oh, wait, on your phone, it's different. Oh, I can't show you. Okay, grab your phone, because that's what you'll be using, because I have to use a software app to do it on the computer itself. Okay, so grab your phone, go over to your business page. If you don't, go to your personal one. <laughs> And then, when you click to post something, if mine will work in here, create a post. See down at the bottom where it says live video? Mm -hmm. Okay, so click that. And then, nope, not yet. Well, go live. To, if you have an Android, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm used to iPhone. So if it's Android, go live. If it's iPhone, uh, live video. And then, You'll notice when you click go live that it's probably pointing out toward the audience. So you want to hit the little camera that will turn the camera on you, which will probably shock you because there you will be. Right. Then you want to add a description. So you tap there and you're basically like, this sucks, but I'm doing it anyway, or however you want to phrase this experience. But don't start it yet because you got to pick your topic. So you add your description and again, <laughs> add emojis. Okay, add emojis because people love emojis. And then once you hit start, you have a three second count countdown. Okay, so is everybody clear on the instructions before you break into groups? What are we grouping for? We don't just hold it and just do it. No, you can do that. So here's what you're going to group for. So number one, what you want to say for your live video, and then you're going to do it. After you get that done, then get back in your group or you can do it all at once and decide on two to four topics for next month. You're going to help each other pick on what you think is interesting, okay, and come up with ideas. So you have to introduce yourself, what you do, et cetera, et cetera.
Make sense, Marley? Good? All right, guys. I have a question, though. Yes, ma'am. No. No, it's going live, baby. It's going live. No, it's live, but once, it, but once you turn it off. Mm -mm, I want it on there. I'm going to spy. Well, when you go live, you can actually not post it. Uh, but again, I guarantee you'll get more engagement. Guarantee it. All right, so go ahead and break it into your groups or do your video first. I don't care. Got 10 minutes. Live video, we don't necessarily have to have an agenda. Nope. The things we're saying, we're just going to talk mm -hmm. about. Well, and that's why you can write down a couple things. So if you have something that right here, if you want to tell a quick story, you can do that. Like a new product, statistic, Q's and A's, unusual facts. Do you want to be a partner? How do they do the compliance? Do they submit it? They can't do live. They have to do everything. No, they can do live. Um, but mainly it's like car insurance and things like that. So they do have some policy, you know, and procedures that they have to go through. But um, we got quite a bit of freedom now working with the bank that I'm now working with, we have to be really careful. Yeah. Mine is like super compliant. Like I'm not even sure I can do a Facebook Live and be in compliance. <laughs> well then just talk about yourself. Do it on your personal yeah. one if you want to do that. So does that make sense though? Yeah. Everything goes through compliance. Yeah. And so and it's approved prior. Okay. That makes so. sense. So even if you talk about your own personal things? Stuff like that. I think I can talk personal, and I'd probably do some tidbits, some facts. And some, like, Being a, a woman entrepreneur, yeah, this like is that. what my day looks like. But if I say it's just this one, it's just one. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Some might say, oh. So can you do can you do any like generalized personal finance? Um, that's what I've been trying to kind of figure out. Okay. Okay. So I'm just trying to do that. Okay. Okay. Do you have a question? Yeah. Okay. Being the introvert I am, can I like select who I want it to go to? Like only like my wife. <laughs> she knows how stupid I am, so I. So is know, it for your business? Uh, I'm just doing it. I've got easier access to my personal. Okay. So uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm practicing on that. So can I do that or? Like, I would does prefer it like go you to not. My friends, but yes, you can send it straight. Send it okay. You can send it straight to her. Mm -hmm. Okay. I prefer you not to though, but okay. go ahead. So you're going what are you saying? Just so, just do like a live one and. Um, hi everybody. Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe a different one. If I do a link to free resources like that are on my website. Um, if I do links to a free resource, then I need to have the link on there. Yeah. So when you do the live video, you can actually put in the comment tab, put in the comments right now that link, or I'll add it as soon as I'm done. Okay. Yeah. And do I link to the actual resources page on our website? Or? Okay. So I got to figure out how to get that. Link. Yeah, you can probably just copy and then paste it in once you're done. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can copy the link and then just paste it real quick. Yeah, paste this right now as you're live. You know, you can do that. Or I'll paste it in here when the Yeah. 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 Yeah.
leads did you get? Well, I did it so it would, um, so when you do the Facebook ads, there's different results that you can get. Right. Uh -huh. So I advertised the event that we had coming up, and I did it to get Facebook likes for our page, and we got 700 likes. Whoa. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So you did insane. that as what? Say that again. Because as a campaign. Which I'm going to teach you guys. Yeah. Which is so that it's a type of ad, and then mm -hmm. you can choose what you want your outcome to be, so you could send people to your Facebook event so that they could you know, attend your event. Oh. Or if it's people that don't already like your Facebook page, you can yeah, advertise like whatever it. you want, but get them to like your page. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So let's say we're talking about a wonderful yeah. school expo is yeah. coming up, okay. right? We've all been talking about the school yeah. expo coming up. So that would be something that you could create something for yeah. so that people would see your attending or being part of, and then they could like your page because exactly. you're... Exactly. Because that's how the ad is set, targeted to work. Okay, so you should have your two to four uh, topics. Uh, who has not done their Facebook Live? Okay, uh, get it done now. Okay, nice 30 to 60 seconds. We're going to get back to our training. So the Facebook pixel goes on the website. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mm -hmm. I missed the first class because I think I was having this. Or something. That's what I did. Yes. So now I'm like, kind of feeling like I'm catching up because I'm like, I didn't do any of this first stuff. Yeah. And I got, and you should have received the email from me because I think you're on my list where I had that video. It's not in Facebook Lives, unfortunately. That's pre-made videos. Okay, let's finish up your live, post it. If you didn't get it done, do it before you leave, if you don't mind. Now, I also, um, last night on my Facebook page, the Gene, or, uh, Cherry Ann Wilson Facebook page, the business page, I did training on three tools that will help you know what to post, when to post, and watch some of your competitors or Facebook pages you like to look at their content and what is performing well. So I did that training last night. So you, sh you can shoot over there and watch it, okay? Shows you, uh, I mean, literally, when are your fans on Facebook? When they're on Facebook is when you want to post, okay? And sometimes it takes me about a month or two to get some really good data. Okay, so let's now talk about what exactly you're wanting when it comes to your Facebook ad, which as promised, you'll have an ad ready to go by the end of this series. So number one, are you wanting to get your customers in your store? Or number two, are you wanting to build your email list or both? I would recommend both, but it may be more of a focus to get people at your location. Okay, so email lists are just as important for brick and mortar businesses, but you need to decide on the goal for the ad because if you want to bring them to your location, we'll have a different objective that we'll decide when we get there. If you want to build an email list, that's going to be a different objective, kind of like what Misty was talking about. If you're building an email list and that's a priority, you're going to need what's called a freemium. My personal opinion, every business needs a freemium. I don't care what you do. And a freemium is often called an opt-in and it's a very compelling, relevant, valuable piece of content to persuade visitors to give up their emails, okay? or to at least get them to your website because remember if you have that pixel you don't even need their email because that pixel will grab them and then when it's time to do your ad uh, it'll serve your ad to them so if you don't want their email but you still want people to become aware of you then get that freemium that opt-in designed
Okay, so let me give you a few examples of a free meal or opt-in. So this one right here is from my website, uh, and all of them actually are probably from my website, but this one is a quiz. Quizzes are awesome. People are, quite frankly, narcissistic, and they want to know about themselves. And so, I mean, you know, uh, mine, of course, is what's your introvert flavor? So a lot of people don't know there are actually four types of introverts. And so I did the research. I created the quiz myself. Don't worry. I'm going to teach you guys how to do this when we get to that point. And uh, people take it. It takes about five minutes. They're done. Uh, so that's a great one. This one right here is an example of an opt-in that's a PDF. And I don't require them to give me their email because people are tired of emails. So this takes advantage of the fact that I have my pixel. And so I basically started off, no email or name needed. What? Yep, it's true, okay? Because they'll appreciate that you're not trying to get that from them. And then I'm gonna, if I'm going to show you how to build trust and create rapport within a few minutes of sitting down with your potential client, then I need to show you that you can trust me. So here you go. And that's all I put. So when they click download now, they instantly get that resource. It's very good. I highly recommend you grab it because it's how I'm good at sales, which is listening, understanding, and solving problems. That's all it is for those of you that are curious. <laughs> now, the next one I've got, this one does require their name because I usually will uh, launch my Facebook ad for this one before I do my uh, free webinar. And this is an introvert's guide to persuasion. It's actually similar to this one, but I talk about how awesome introverts are and why they're perfect for today's sales culture. So I only take the first name. Do you guys see that? Mm -hmm. I don't want the full name, just the first name, their email. And then science has shown that if you can get them to answer a question or select an option, you have more chances of number one, filtering out those that just want your freemium, number two, you're getting data, number three, they're committed to your content. So down here, I have where if you click that drop down box, it'll have different levels of how comfortable you are with selling. People click and answer that, and that gives me the data I need. And then once they hit instant access, they get my freemium. Okay, so we've got some time to do this, and I'd like to do this publicly instead of um, partnership wise, okay? So, and again, I'm gonna go deeper into this. I don't want you guys to feel overwhelmed and like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know what the heck an opt-in is until you said it. I'm gonna guide you through the process. But I'm curious, so let's just start at the back. Uh, Marley, what, and as far as opt-in ideas, it can again be a PDF of tips. You know, like if you're a house painting service, how the heck do you get soap scum off of showers? Just would like to know. You know, things like that, that questions that people ask you all the time. Uh, one of the ones I created for the Waters Group for real estate uh, with Tammy Waters is we've got a seller's packet and a buyer's packet, and it has everything in there that you need. Um, uh, I can't remember another client's. I created one for them. But anyway, so anything that's useful. So let's start with you. What would be useful? Your delivery service or for your months, which one? Well, it depends. So, again, questions from people that you've heard mm -hmm. or something that you feel is valuable that you wish you didn't have to repeat yourself every single time. Which you can do that, too. You can actually create it where they can grab your FAQ and download it mm -hmm. without getting their email. And if you've got the Facebook pixel, it will grab them when you do your ad. Yeah, so for you, it could be if you're talking about the delivery, it could be how it works, common questions answered. And that, that usually, it's either how does it work or what's your delivery fee? Those are the questions that are important. Okay, so I would say how does it work and uh, what's the delivery fee? You want a, a um, um, heading that grabs their attention. So um, it could be something like how much is this, you know, how much will this cost you? Um, crazy, you know, or let's see, uh, what you should know, things like that, mm -hmm. something like that, because people are like, oh, 
what should I know? You know what I mean? So, you know, I don't know if that helps, but. Mm-hmm. All right, what about you? What can you do? So, like we talked mm-hmm. about in the past, my first mistake was very, like, I have to make sure everything is clear to every higher up possible. <laughs> yes. So it's a little hard, to be honest with you, when mm-hmm. it comes to that one. When it comes to my other business, it's a little, a little different. So because of what you deal with, sure there are questions you guys get oh yeah we get or step by step uh some of the most popular are how to's Mm -hmm. and then also what's called cheat sheets so a cheat sheet would be the behind the scenes of how i create a video you know with all the things that are in there um also a swipe file so a swipe file what that is (coughs) is it's like examples of emails that you use to get new customers or um, letters that you write to potential prospects that have brought you business. So anything that you use that has been successful would go into a swipe file. Please don't offer a book. No one wants to read a book. Mm-hmm. Uh, a newsletter, boring. Um, it needs to be, again, very valuable and relevant. So cheat sheets, how-tos, and um, swipe files. Tell us what swipe files are again. It's uh, anything like emails, letters you write, maybe even graphics you use that have been very effective in business that you think other people could use or at least tweak for their own purposes. And if you do a swipe file, you might put in there, please do not use this word for word, you know, because this is what I use, feel free to tweak it. And so I have like, for example, when people sign up for my webinar, I have an onboarding process of emails that will engage and get them to actually show up live because we all like to sign up for the webinar and then we don't have time. And so I want people engaged to where they're ready to go when I go live. And uh, so I, that would be a swipe file I could send to people and they could use those emails. So what about you? Water and coffee. So what could be? Well, the <laughs> obvious name that, uh, or the question is where do you get the name Water and Water? Okay. And so I put that under also, uh, you know, how do I get set up? Uh, what does it cost? What is it, you know, questions like that. Well, and I would also have how do you pronounce Ogunwala, okay? And you can actually have some fun with that. You know, like um, tomato, tomato, Ogunwala, Ogunwala, <laughs> whatever you heard people say. But the coffee part, so do y'all also, what's yeah. the coffee part? We have uh, coffee makers. to me would be useful is how to know what type of coffee maker you need for your purposes. Yeah. I would like to know that. I mean, I'd walk in there, I don't know which one at all. So having a cheat sheet there to help them make that decision would be very beneficial. Okay, Jessica. Um, I don't know. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I mean, I don't know. Well, you do radio. So you could have a cheat sheet or a how-to on um, what makes good content, um, writing your script out, what to include, you know, how to prepare for that day if you're going to do it in your own voice, you know, uh, and then you could even have at the bottom a way to brainstorm ideas where they could write down their ideas, okay. you know, something like that. Okay. I think for me, um, with it being a dumpster rental, it would be a fact sheet, something that they know what we have, um, what sizes, what our day rentals are, you know, our, our rental periods, and maybe just what's allowed or not allowed, you Perfect. know, in our dumpster. Okay, yeah, that's good. Jan? Okay. <laughs> I mean, it could be similar to Jessica's, I guess, but I wouldn't want y'all to compete. Well, <laughs> what I'm trying to do is build one that enhances what we already got. Okay. And uh, people always like People like food. I always like food. Mm-hmm. So I, I like food with a lot. So, yeah. 
businesses here in town. Yeah, perfect. Okay, Marlon? Um, I was thinking our financial calculators. <laughs> okay. So they could like calculate a loan payoff that they have or a retirement accumulation that they're wanting to get or okay. see where they are on their goals or whatever. And when we get to your Facebook ad, whatever page you have that premium on, if you don't want to grab their name and email, I'm going to show you how to take that page and plug it in for the Facebook ad so that Facebook knows if they go to that page, they need to be served or ad. And also have in mind, guys, that the, the premium, the opt-in, whatever it is you're giving away for free, needs to be relevant to your ad. Okay, so you don't want to just have this random thing <coughs> your ad, no one knows how they're connected. Okay? All right, so we're running out of time. What about this margin? Mm -hmm. Well, we're kind of a two-in-one sort of uh, business. We have two Facebook business pages, one for the affiliate, okay. the building program, work with volunteers, and donors, and get money, all that kind of stuff. And then the Habitat Restore here in Clover Hill, yeah. we're on Facebook page. So a, a lot of the same ideas. We're looking for donors to give us things. We're looking for shoppers to come by those things and um, raise money for the affiliate building program. So, um, hmm. I mean, I, I could do FAQs, uh, but different audiences are going to look for different right. premium content. You know what I mean? And you could do more than one. Right. So. That, a nonprofit's donors, interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, being a nonprofit is is because I have a non we're the key telephone thing here. <laughs> yeah. So, I have a nonprofit, but I'm curious, you know, like things that maybe people have asked you over and over and over and completed yeah, that that's into why the I said premium. It's easier simple to think of as the FAQs. Yeah. Like the myths that people can say no about Habitat that you know that's a good idea. started it and you know that if you give away programs to different shelters for free and okay. How does this really work? Yeah, how does yeah. it really work? So, and I, I don't know if we've talked to Jamie about some premium ideas, but we all have. I don't know if we talked about that. I mean, but I I thought about maybe a couple of just not be too general in advertisement or our opinion, but what what's the best storage shed? I think that's fine. Maybe dropping his ad, or maybe yeah. as a promotion or something of want to know how to get or <clears throat> how to get free storage room. Okay. That he could offer as an incentive, but maybe and that'd be good option. for um, Facebook too. Okay. Yeah, that'd be really good. Okay. What about you guys? I winterize your RV. Perfect. And RV tips and tricks. Like it? Yeah. How not to wreck when you're driving away? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good I have a question, Sherry. So okay. for the opt-ins and the premiums, that's a page on the website that we send them to with the Facebook ad. Is that? Correct. Yeah, or you can use it to start gathering the pixel information. So when you do your so, so ad, where is it's a the separate premium? thing. The freemium is You on. would create it as a separate page, and if it's a downloadable, you'd have a button to download it. Uh -huh. And um, and like on my um, uh, persuasion one, I think it's like sherryannwilson.com forward slash persuasion, something like that, and that's where you would have them. Okay, right. perfect. And then with the pixel set up, that's how the info gets back. It, yeah. Okay. Big brother. Okay. Yep. Cool. Um, okay. So let me give you guys an idea of um, next week or next month because we are out of town. I'm going to take you to a website called Canva to teach you how to create your graphics. If you want to start looking around, go ahead. I'm also going to, um, and I'll give these to you now. There's four websites where I get my free photos. Pickjumbo.com. Unsplash is a favorite. Pixabay, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y.com is my second favorite. And then Snocks, Snock, Stock, <laughs> Snap, <laughs> dot I-O. So Pick Jumbo, Pixabay, Unsplash, and Stock, Snap, dot I-O. And um, if you're technically challenged, guys, hire someone to help you design a beautiful and useful opt-in, okay? So we'll get into all that. And then next week, I'm going to teach you how to create a quiz and how to create these awesome graphics of the computers, the iPad, and all that stuff. And we'll get into more stuff, too, next, next month. But I know I keep saying next week. 
And I think that is it. Uh, if you want to get ahead of the game, again, keep collecting your content. But um, I just did this for American Heritage, and if you need to go, go ahead. And I think this is important. I interviewed 10 of, and that's 5-5 five, five, since I'm holding up one hand. I interviewed 10 of their customers, and I asked specific questions. What were you looking for in a bank? What drew you to American Heritage? What three benefits do you get? Now, benefits are not products or services, guys. Benefits are the emotional speed, you know, convenience, friendliness, integrity. You're looking for things like that. So number one, what drew you to us? Number two, um, what were you looking for? Number three, three benefits. Number four is um, what experience or what do you feel doing business with us? You know, it's, it's emotion. I don't care if you say you're not emotional. You connect to who you purchase from emotionally. So what do you feel? And then number five, what can we change? Now, that one you can leave off. But these are designed to elicit responses. What you'll see is a pattern will develop of your target customer. Because when you're doing advertising, it needs to be as if I'm sitting right down, right in front of Marge, and we're talking about things together. That's the feel. You want to use you and not, you know, them or they or we, unless you have to use we. So you want to make it very, you know, um, not particular, um, unique to that individual one-on-one -on -one feeling on all of your messaging. And the only way to know that is call your top customers and get that data. So whenever I did that, there was a, a pattern that came up with American Heritage. And I'm not putting a plug in them, but just showing you the process. So what came up was friendly. They can talk to anybody they need to. It's very one-on-one, -on -one, and they're not just another name. Those were just three things. I got like five others, but everybody said the exact same thing. So do that. Get that research so you know who your target customer is, because when we create the ad, that's who you're going to be talking to. Okay? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, I had it up here. Man, I'm better than I thought I was. Look at that. <laughs> Already had it up there. All right, guys. So I appreciate you coming. Thanks for um, making fun of this. And I think Kit, who is new, um, new to the chamber, has a quick thing. Yeah. Um, I just want to say I'm Kit. She did it for me. Wednesday before is the chamber board members meeting. Oh, yes. oh yeah, we can't yeah. do it. We'll figure okay, it out. We'll figure it out. It may have to be the Wednesday after, but okay. we'll pick a date. All right. And so, um, would that that one be part three? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Part two C. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send all this to you guys if you signed in. Okay, let's see. Always sign in. Yeah, always sign in so you can get it. Hey, Jessica, it's um, it's that address up there. I need to make an appointment with you. Yes, we do. Let's see here. So next week I'm going to be watching Miss Gill's store all week, so we can actually have it up there at the store if you want. The only thing is we might get interrupted. Um, 
Oh, I come back I'm going to Oklahoma. Okay. So I'll be back on Tuesday. Okay. What about the week after? That was. And let's put down. What time did we get? Bye. What time did we do it last time? Was it an afternoon? Yeah. It was about four. But then I go Let's the do it. The 13th at 4. Thank you for everything, guys. And then I'll be talking to you then. You probably will. The phone number is Matt. You're welcome. Good. Do you need a cover?